Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gorax and welcome to some more folktale. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen tons of videos about the tutorial and the gameplay. Some of you might even have downloaded the game uh, already and played it. What about the editor? The world editor. It's the very core essence of the sandbox experience the developers want to create. And I haven't seen much uh, content around about the editor. So this is what I want to talk a little bit about today. I'm not going to go to, uh, into too much detail, uh, but if you would like to know how the editor works and what you can do with the editor in, in more detail, please let me know and I will do a proper guide um, showing you what's going on, what you need to do and what works with what. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you want to see something like that and I'll try to make a nice map uh, step by step with you guys together. So today is just going to be a little wrap up, uh, an overview what you can actually do with the editor so far. Um, since this is still, everything is still in the early alpha, so everything you see will be change, uh, subject to change. My idea when I started uh, messing around with the editor was that I'm a shipwrecked person who has, a, who has made a little fire on the shore with the uh, wooden planks of his uh, broken boat. And um, I'm discovering a mystical ruin with some coffins in it and some candles around. So you will see the process of me uh, creating this map. And uh, I kind of lost track uh, after I did this uh, ruin and I made myself a little hilltop uh, village, let's say, with a nice tavern and a um, beautiful sea view on the tavern. Let's get started. So when you open up the editor, you have a lot of windows that uh, pop into your screen pretty much. Um, let's start at the bottom. Um, the bottom right. Uh, this is a little window where it shows stats. This is pretty self-explanatory. It shows your current frame rate, uh, how much tiles you have uh, used up already and how much memory it is uh, basically uh, using the whole map. Um, if you go to the left, you have a little window which has uh, kits on it. Those are, this contains every object you have um, available within the editor. So you can see right there, cobalt props and cemetery and grasslands. And grasslands is what I'm using at the moment. It has all the uh, uh, flowers, the trees, the fire uh, wreckage. Um, you have uh, all the mountain top sites in there, the water, uh, rivers and all this stuff. This is in there. The cemetery is the coffins and candles and ruins and all this stuff. So there is quite a lot uh, available already. Um, the other stuff which is there are villagers, uh, pre-made pre villagers. Um, human buildings and a construction tool where you can construct your own kind of uh, building. You've got doors and walls and all this stuff in there. Um, which basically uh, which you could do actually a nice interior of a house and yeah and the big window to its left there is the content which uh, is inside of those uh, pre-made kits so there you can see uh, grass grasslands and hills and all the stuff what I'm using here everywhere and yeah the top right corner there is a window which is basically just an information what you can do with the object you have uh, at the moment with the, which you have selected or which you're using at the moment so if you have for example a grassland tile you can only build on it's not rotatable because well it's a, it's a square it's not going to look any different <laughs> the same with the water and all this stuff so this is just the basic information of the object you're currently using and of course, the very top of the screen is a uh, is the action bar with all the uh, options available. Um, you've got an extensive um, manual on the Steam website, community website of uh, Games Foundry, which explains every single icon up there. But uh, let me just check if I can get everything together again. Well, let's start from uh, the very left. You've got this paper with a plus, which is basically a new location, a new map uh, designed by yourself. Um, then you can open location. Um, for example, the um, the showcase map uh, the developers use. Uh, you can open this one as well, the human village it's called, with all the monsters in there and pets. So everything you see from Games Foundry is this map. You can open it as well. 
and you can open any other map from other players or the maps from yourself, of course. The button next to it is, is very self-explanatory. You see it everywhere. This is the save button. Um, then this uh, crossed arrow there is to move um, to move the uh, tiles or the objects around. Then the uh, uh, circle there with the arrow, this is basically you can um, turn the tile around. If you have trees, if you have want the trees to uh, point somewhere else, you can rotate them. Um, and then you have the scale mode as well. You cannot scale everything in here, but most of it, trees, monsters, buildings and stuff, you can scale it. Um, then you have got the paint tool, which is only new. Uh, they they uh, released it with the update on the 27th of February, I think, um, where you can paint like roads or mud on uh, grass tiles or something like this. And then you have a duplicate. So if you have a tile selected and you want to duplicate or make a, you know, make like a, a, a mountain front and you want it the exact same way for um, a couple of tiles, you just uh, select the object and duplicate it. Very self-explanatory. Then you have the group, um, the group icon. I haven't used the group icon yet, but uh, if you, you know, select uh, one uh, tile, for example, um, that little building there, you can group it with other buildings together and duplicate them. I think this is what it's supposed to be. And then at rotation, you can rotate objects uh, up and down sideways and stuff like this. Um, this is the rotate button. And then you have got um, the Tugel grid. This hashtag there is a Tugel grid. Um, of course, you can see in my video, I have the grids, uh, the grid lines available. So you can toggle this on and off. And also the same with toggle the mud. Uh, you can see when I place, when I place my grass tiles, you can see the mud because uh, when it goes down a little bit, you can see the height of the tile with the mud. If you take it off, you only see the green grass top. So you can toggle this on and off. And then of course, um, next to it, you have auto grass. So you can turn off uh, the real um, 3D grass on the grass tiles or not. Um, the same goes with the uh, mud, as I just said. Um, then you have this circle with the SB in it with this uh, preview static batching. I'm not quite sure what this means. I haven't used it at all. Uh, nothing really happens when I click on it, so I'm not quite sure what it does. Next to it, you have stats, performance stats, including frame rate and memory usage. This is the little um, window in the top uh, in the bottom right corner. Um, then you have a Toggle kit list. It, uh, the kit list with uh, the cemetery, grassland and cobalt props and all the stuff, the pre-made kits. You can toggle this one on and off. Um, what else do we have there? Um, Cookitted contents. This is what I'm browsing through. This is the big window on the very left side. You can toggle that one on and off. What else do we have? Uh, toggle inspector. The dialogue visibility. I haven't used that one there. That question mark is actual, actually the link to the, uh, to the manual. I definitely suggest that you have a look through it because um, I use it quite a lot and it has a nice tips with uh, shortcuts, uh, sh um, hotkeys and stuff like this. So do check it out. And then of course uh, the door with the arrow out is exit the editor. So there you have it guys. Um, do take a look at the manual. It is very helpful and try it out yourself. Um, it takes a bit, a little bit to read. This is uh, quite a quite an extensive uh, manual, but take the time. It's really worth it. I think I had a lot of fun um, doing this little map and I'm pretty sure when I put some time in it, I will have a pretty cool map. But why even bother using the map editor? Well, I can tell you right now, everything you see in the map editor is uh, still in a pretty early alpha, but it works really good. Um, Unfortunately, you cannot play the maps you're creating yet and there is no uh, scripting available like, uh, for example, for quests and for uh, cutscenes or for scripted um, happenings. Um, but, uh, you know, like in Age of Empires, you can make a, a quest line and once you reach or you uh, pass a certain character in the game, a quest opens up and a little, a little scenic movie comes in. This is not uh, 
you're not able to do this just yet, but this editor already has everything you need. You have an extensive resources of terrains, plants, buildings, water. You have everything in it, what you can wish for it in order to make a great, um, a great map. You've got uh, monsters in there, animals, uh, wildlife, uh, heaps of trees and grass and uh, flowers and all this stuff. So you have everything you need in order to make a great map. On the community website, some of the other testers uh, said that they are quite upset about the uh, monotone uh, villagers of the villager skins because they all look the same and there's no individual uh, skin available. Um, on the 27th of February, the developers actually released the uh, villager editor and you will see this on the end of my video as well. You can actually grab um, the baker or the uh, bartender and uh, customize the look of it, of him or her. You know, give him a beard or have uh, no hair at all. You can make a whole village with bold people and even have, the women can have uh, beards or the men have like um, very, very thin eyebrows and stuff like this, make them look like uh, women. I'm not quite sure how it affects the world editor itself. I haven't tried out uh, creating an, a new villager for my purposes, but I'm pretty sure uh, you can, for the map you're using, you can actually use the uh, villager editor and make your own style of villages with a certain aspect. For example, a villager is full of Vikings, which you have to take over or something like this. But for the moment, you can live out your fantasies, create the map you like and look forward to the day where the devs make the uh, maps you create actually playable. And I'm definitely looking forward to the stories uh, people are creating. This is going to be very interesting and in what uh, detail um, other players create their maps and what kind of stories and quests they come up with. I'm pretty sure this will be pretty cool. If you feel like that the Ruta editor is too much for you guys, or if you think, uh, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing or what to do, um, just open up the human village of the developers and play around with it a little. Uh, it does help to see what um, what they have used to make their map. Sometimes you have to put uh, multiple mountain tiles on top of each other in order to make it look pretty nice. You can rotate them around and stuff. So have a look at their map and play around with it a little and then take a crack on your own little experience on your own world map and see how it goes. And if you want to share the maps you created with us already with the community, just make a video about it and post it on the community website and let people see what you actually created. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be continuing my map here. Um, as you can see, I'm just building the uh, nice little village here and the tavern. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to make the map as big as possible and try to make it uh, very unique. And I upload the finished map as well. But if you guys want to have a full um, a full tutorial on how the editor works, uh, let me know. I can make uh, I can make it happen. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, you like the little map I have provided, <laughs> I have made in this video so far. It took me quite some time to get used to the mechanics, but I'll really like it. And it's very easy once you actually uh, know how, what to do. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to have a full map uh, made by myself uh, with step-by-step -step, uh, in uh, instructions. I would definitely would like to do this as well. And yeah, leave me some comments. Other than that, my name is Gorax. Catch you next time.